Hello, brothers and sisters, and welcome back to Autonauts vs. Pirate Bots. Today, we got some good stuff to work on. We're going to make samurais, and we're going to make tower repair kits, or technically structure repair kits, so that we can repair our structures. For instance, this tower here is broken, and I just wanted to clarify, even if you try and cheese it by deleting it and putting one back in, it is not fixed. So, what does that mean? It means we got to do it the right way. So, let's make some, let's make some stuff today. First of all, I want to put my gate back that broke. Oops cheeky bastards. I actually want to move that back just a smidge. Uh, I, I guess that's fine. So now I've got my structures ready. I'm probably at some point maybe going to make a double wall structure or um, I don't know if stone's technically better than this because this is basic wall defense, but we do have palisades uh, coming up in the research. So we'll definitely check that out. But first I want to talk about our weed farm. I've got my code mastered for how I think I'm going to like it for now. And how it works is this. So I've got Snoop's mom and assistant. They're using the same code right now. So until their hands are full, they're gonna pick up the weeds. Then they're gonna go find the soil and do that until their hands are empty. Then if they still have stuff in their hands, of course, they'll then move to the weed storage and plop it in there. But if it's full, what they're gonna do is they're instead gonna move and drop their remains right here. So you can kind of see they're stuck in a loop of dropping them, which is fine because there's no battery charge in this unlike vanilla. So it doesn't actually matter if they're repeating a useless code wasting battery since that's not a factor. So what does that mean and why would I have them do that? Well, that means any excess they have, they're just gonna hold on to instead of like trying to put them away or if that drops, you know, it'll instantly kind of go into replenish mode and then that way they'll just get right back to farming. So I think with this, we'll be okay with keeping our weeds at a good level. Cause actually when I dropped back in, uh, I was getting low. I was at like 30 weeds. So I definitely had something wrong in the code. So we'll test that out, see how that goes, but that should work quite well. So otherwise let's get some bots made. So let's get some good swords going. So we need to set up a storage. I've got a sledgehammer storage. Uh, you know what? Let's get rid of the Autonaut bot bodies here because obviously that's just for me, right? Now I know this. So let's go in. I'm just going to drop one of these guys here. I'm going to come over here real quick. And this is how I quickly get rid of things. Um, I'll just grab, you know, I'll grab four of these. Since I can hold all four, I'll come over and throw them in the Ooga Booga. If the storages have a lot more in it than just... 10 in this instance, right? I'll set up a bot to do this for me and I'll come back to it later. That's why I keep monkey bots and assistant bots around. So now I've got that. So now I can repurpose this easy. And then I'll just delete this head, get out of my way. <coughs> Let's grab a bot and get to work. So this guy needs a job. Oh, we're being attacked. Are we? Or is it just telling me that we can go into a truce mode? I don't know. This guy's out of ammo. I'm just going to put truce mode on because we're trying to record. But what happened to my uh, my boy who was uh, doing the ammo? So hold on. Let's see. Ammo craft. I got to reorganize my troops. I haven't done that. But defense tower replenishment. He's stuck. Oh, you know what? I must have moved something. So actually, no, record. I'm going to put these in the loop. That way, if anything ever moves while he's going, uh, nothing's going to happen. So just start over. He'll go replenish that now. That's the issue we always talk about where if you put the movement outside of the repeat code, yes, it speeds up the process quite exponentially, honestly. But if you move something in the process, they get stuck. So it's a, it's a take 22. So, but that's fine. Now, let's grab... So crude swords and crude blades are what we're going to need. So let's grab needs a job. Record. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to come over here and grab a sword. Throw it in your pocket. Actually, you know what? I don't even need him to do that because he's going to run right by this anyway. So instead of stowing it, just go right up, throw it in the bench. And then you're going to come up here. We're going to grab some crude blades. And then I'm just going to copy this and have him do twice. There's no reason for me to put a repeat on there. It's just a waste of time. It's the same amount of data to just put it in twice. So. And then it's the same thing here. I'll just move, add, add. And then with this, we'll create a 
Not a bot that needs a job. Excuse me, sir. Can I grab that sword? Thanks. Grab that good sword and then come over here and store it. Do this forever. It's only going to store 10, so that's fine. Now our other bot who makes swords is going to get back to work because now he has his hands empty. And now we can grab a new bot. Actually, and I need to make sure I change that bot's name. Where is he? This is the Weapon Master. Good sword. All right, if you want to be the Weapon Master who makes all the katanas, you let me know in the comments down below and we'll change that name to you. First comment wins. Now, new bot. I also took the minute to move all the worker bots up here. I just did that by manually clicking all of them in here and then telling them all to move to me afterwards after I grouped them all into one big group. But now I want you... So you were going to be uh, Quartermaster Samurai. Record. So for a Samurai, we're going to need a Grunt, a good sword, and some gold. So what you're going to do is you're going to come down here and you're going to find a Grunt. I want to change this to the radius of this sign. The Infirmary, which is where we send all our broken bots to be repurposed and healed. And then... He can't actually stow that, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop it real quick. I'm gonna stop record. Actually, I'm gonna keep recording. I'm gonna grab the good sword, stow it. I'm gonna put that first. So he's gonna move, grab a good sword, stow it. Then he's gonna go grab a bot and pick it up. Let me go grab my bot again. Okay, and then you're gonna come over here, drop the bot next to the nudist beach, of course. Plop the bot, retrieve the sword, plop the sword, call it a day after we lose 500 shackles, and bam, we've got a samurai, baby. Let's do this five times. Well, in this instance, four, but we'll probably change them to five. I don't know. All right, so we're going to have to compare this damage in a second, but so we've got 32 damage, two people, two to structures, no aerials, 20 cents, so that's their radius of sight. And 2,000 health and 6 speed. Okay. So now if we go into our tab menu here. And I go to card collectors. So. Yeah, why would I use... I mean, they're a little healthier, I suppose, than an archer. So they could soak up some damage. But... Archers deal 18 more damage to ground units. And technically, they even deal more damage to structures. So... I, I, this feels a bit weak. Yes, they have slightly more health. I mean, it's 33% more health, but I think I'd rather just have archers. I'll bring five warriors with us though, just to test it. He's going to work on that. We also just have to have the sword, so. We'll, we'll see how this goes. We'll keep those rolling in the deep here. My coins are a little short. Why? Did someone else break? Oh no, there he is. Okay, good stuff. Watery Porridge is a hundred gold a piece. It's just because we're rolling through gold right now. We're making swords, we're making samurai swords, we're making samurai. So like, it's 5,000 for the warrior, right? But it's another five, where is it? It's a hundred for a, for a grunt. It's, I think it's a hundred for a sword. That's a good sword. Where is it? Right here. hundred for a sword, so that's 200. And then it's another 300 for a good sword, so that's 500. And then it's 500 for the bot. So it costs a thousand to make a warrior, and it's probably the same for an archer. Actually, the archer was worth a thousand. All right, so at least they modified it so that it's cheaper. But I don't know. Oh, and you know what? I want to set these up. You are going to go into Team Blazing Glory from now on, but it's okay. We'll take care of you. I got gotcha. you. Don't worry. Daddy's got gotcha. you. Warriors, assemble. So I'm going to throw these guys up here into Blazing Glory. I'm just going to restructure these guys to have a Booty Pirate Annihilator. And go grab my flag. I had put it down for a second over here to, to build something. Perfect. So now that's perfect there. Let's quickly build up. Where did I have them? Right here. So I want to make a 
crude structure repair kits, right? We need to get wov. So planks and wooden mallets. So let's grab a bot. Record. So you are going to be um, crude structure repair kit. Crude structure repair kit. And then we're going to go grab a wooden mallet. You're going to stow it. And he needs four planks. Those are poles. So you're going to move from here and take from here. I say, uh, whoops. Times four. And then you're going to come over here. Plop this down and you're going to do this. Oopsies. I'm going to have him do this. I could actually have him do this until his hands are empty. Until hands are empty. And what you do is I just put... I can just surround this and retrieve this. Just so that way, no matter where he gets stuck in the sequence, he'll always make sure to get that last retrieve in. And I'm just going to hit stop for a second. I'm going to put these last four in here. Retrieve. Okay. Record it back up. Then I'm going to grab a structure repair kit. Actually, I got to stop for a second. I need a place to put these. So let's go with this. And I'm actually going to put them right here. I'm only going to do two because it's probably enough, honestly. And then we'll record. We'll grab this. And we'll go throw this in here. 24. Yeah, that's probably plenty. And repeat forever. Have fun, sir. All right, so now we can repair things. So if I grab this, for instance, take this out and I bring this over here, give it a word repair. Wow. Uses quite a bit of them. I might, I might you know what? I, I'm going to make this a three stack. Give it to, give it to 40 because that does use quite a bit. And then what we'll do is I'll set up a, we'll do it later. I'm not too worried about it at the moment. So I'm going to put him back here. But what I can do is set up a bot to repair any of these and use them in the same sense as we have the bot set up to replenish all the towers because we have all the uh, code in place for that and all the towers are the same. All I have to do is then instead of adding the tower ammo, they just add a repair kit. So it's nice and simple. Just the way we like it. Kiss. Keep it simple, stupid. All right. Is there a hole here too? No. No, there's not. But yeah, like certain things I might want to double up like this. Obviously, it doesn't work all the way around, but you never know. They could, there could be some stupid bots coming in and this will work. But like I want to do something like this around the main base too. All right, now let's get into the fun bit. Let's go, let's go cause some hell here. So let me grab this. We are going to grab our couple teams here. I need going to minimize everything real quick. Open up my quartermasters. All right, so I need blazing glory to come over here. I'm even, I'm going to lessen this up a bit. Make it a bit wider though. Look at them all. Let's just take a look at this. Where are they? Where am I? Here I am. It looks so nice. Too bad it's not daytime. Look good from behind. All right. Let's go. So where do we want to go first? I think it was these guys, right? This was... Who are you? What are you? What are you? What are you? What was this? Were these the basic cooking stations? Yes, this has the kitchen table in it. So I want to go check out the kitchen table. So let's grab our boys and head up here first. We're going to take these guys out. And I'm probably going to try and take these guys out. But I might hold off on that. It's a little precarious at the moment. Where are they? Oh, there they are. They're so slow. I am riding a scooter, but I wonder if I gave him a scooter. No, I'm pretty sure scooters are only for, for auto knots. We'll see. Look at them all. Oh, they're so beautiful. 
flying in. Ah. Take your screenshots, people. Remember the moment. All right. Make sure I got my thingy up here. All right, that was easy. All right, hold on. Gonna put my flag away. Oh, it's the ow, owies! Back it up, people! Back it up! Bring it back. All right, bring them over here. So what I'm gonna do is we're stopping Blaze of Glory. We need to get Gallagher's over here. And obviously since we started another attack, you can see we got pirate rating enabled again. So for 30 minutes until the next truce can be called, which is okay. I usually just fight the waves off while I do like little things in the background for cleanup or whatnot. And then usually by the time we record again, like it's almost time for the truce to be over. That way we're not just interrupted with silly little things. Like they're not hard. I usually just turn blaze of glory onto attack mode and then I just have them attack. All right. Is that everybody? No, some people are still coming. No, those are camels. Yep. Okay. looks like they're here. So what I want to do is this. Might lose some people here because these things slap. And they really do slap. Back. Blazing glory, turn it on. I need to like recenter this. up here. Bring myself over here. Everyone stop and come here. They're being at somewhere being attacked by the tower. I lost one of my blazing glories at some point in there. No, no, everyone come back. Everyone back. I'm going to use my ranged units and we're going to try and just take down the pirate barracks. So I'm going to come in here, turn off the warriors. Stop them. Oh, what are they doing? Get over here. Fools. All right, get those guys in. Our archers will take care of them in a second here. So what I want to do here is I want to change their code for a second. So I want to do, I'm going to change them the pirate bots here. So if I do this, stop this. Okay. Turn them on, but I'm going to take this. Make it super tiny, like that. There you go. And then if I grab my warriors.
get my warriors over here to defend them because once they start attacking, they're still locked on. So even if I change the radius, they won't stop attacking the barons. Okay, now what I can do is take all of these guys, just take the whole team, stop them all real quick, make them back to pirate booty annihilators, turn them back on. Okay, cool. So what, what happened there? Little scuffed, not gonna lie, but it was better than I could have expected, honestly, for my first little playthrough of that. Need all these guys to come down here, though, real quick. Okay, there we go. I need to go this way so they didn't get in range of the that crow's nest. Now, this isn't a big deal if they destroy these, but I'm already right here, so I'm just going to annihilate this. So th these are what the raiders are now. Th there are these silly... Oh, hold on. Move these guys back a bit. So there's these raider barbarians. So they're meant to just destroy structures, and that's all they attack. I lost another unit. Break bring these guys back a bit here again like i said this isn't a big deal this is more of a bigger deal this is why we at least have one tower defense here but uh when the, they do come if they come for this i usually just bring my boys out and we go out for a run that's all so now let's take these guys i'm gonna stop all of you i'm gonna fix my circle here okay and i need to grab see i'm down to 11 let's grab my gallagher's So we'll send these guys in, you know, we'll do this either until we lose them all or we can't get any more of these things down. But the main attraction here was to get rid of the first crow's nest and then get rid of the barracks. I'm thinking I'm going to disregard warriors in their entirety. I don't think they're very good. Uh, even though they have 500 more health or 33% more than an archer, it takes them longer to get to the target and they do less damage. So I feel like in the long run, I'm better off with archers, even though they cost more money. Okay, same thing. I'm going to send these guys to here. Go. We're down to six Gallagher's, which is fine. I can make more. I just have to fix my sledgehammer. I'm, I'm pretty sure I broke my bot at some point because I think they're empty. So, And I think what I'm going to do too is I'm going to... I'm probably gonna get rid of some characters here, so I'm gonna have like 10 sappers and 15 archers, and then I have five defense towers. Okay, and then let's do the same thing with this. Oh, they're being attacked. Hurry it up. These things have such a far range. This one's gonna hit me. So they're doing 17 damage. It's a good amount of damage here, but like, like I said, if I get that up to 10, every attack tick i'll get that damage up to uh 170 a tick which is whatever i don't know what a tick is exactly let's call it let, what, like 2.3 seconds i don't know what their attack what their attack is so the outpost is now cleared so we're safe to move on i'm just going to send my bots over here i don't care if they die i want to get rid of this tower specifically so that uh when i go in here we don't have to worry about being attacked if they don't make it they don't make it it's not a big deal Not a big deal at the end of the day. All right, while they're going so that tower is distracted, I'm going to go in here and just take this real quick. It's all right. They're all gone. And that's taken care of. So my Gallagher's were a bit of a pin cushion there. They, we needed them to just help us distract a bit, but they did a great job taking these out. And if I went in with at least 10 of them, they'd even do an even better job, honestly. So... So kudos to them at the end of the day. Let's take uh, Blazing Glory. Let's turn these all on. And I'm going to um, just make this a little bit bigger. Like this. That'll be good. And yeah, I know I could just set the parameter over here. But I like to be able to move in with them. And it's just, it's more manageable this way. So like if I do something like this, it puts me at the edge of the battlefield. And I can just kind of watch from a much closer space here and I can even be a distractor. You can see I've got what five or six of these pirate skeletons following me around. That means less damage to my own bots. So 
Uh, I do want to test. I don't think the structure repair kits will work on a bot, but we'll have to see. All right, so all of these guys, I'm just going to turn them off for a second, just so when I come up here, they don't attack this in case I got in range. Okay. And now we're just going to go home. Come with me, boys, because we've got a new thing unlocked here. We also, this is the uh, the main fight here, so we'll worry about that later. We'll just clear this out before we do it. But also, actually, you know what we could do? We could go take care of them. Vehicle assembly. Let's go take care of these guys here. Um, Even though I need to get a way in, this, the doors only have 500 damage, so we can slowly start to kill them take out the guys that come at us because there's no barracks here right so we can just do this as a battle of attrition kill everybody and then i can just switch them to structure destruction have them break a single door and then just move in and pillage good good but guys like i always say if you're loving auto nods versus pirate bot show that love by hitting that like button down below it really helps the algorithm it's free and it's the easiest thing everyone anyone can do it's even easier then a comment and if you're new here do think about hitting that subscribe button so you get back here for more of that sweet shabby content all right so we got these guys in here is that tower hitting me yep because my warriors again see let's bring these guys over here a bit more see i'm losing the warriors because they're out in the close combat fight All right, so now, like I said, I'm just gonna take Blazing Glory. I'm gonna stop them all. I'm gonna change them to be um, uh, the Watermelon Smashers. And then I'll just change this specifically to one tile so they break this exact door. And then I'm gonna turn them on. And yeah, like I said, it takes a little bit longer than the Gallagher's, but something like this, super easy to do. And I was right here, so why not? What else do we have? We actually got these guys here. We could probably come over and take this out. They do have a barracks. So actually, I'd rather go in with my with a, a team of half to do that. So we'll do that in the next episode. Okay, everyone, everyone out, everyone out. Whoa, 1,000, we made some love. Everybody stop. Oops, come over here. Or stop him. There was one guy still in there. Uh, Blazing Glory. This, this. Booty Annihilators. Go ahead. I'll just leave the flag right there for a moment. Oh, there's one more skeleton back there. Actually, no. Let me, let me, um, let me make this a solo mission. Leave that here. That way, because I don't want these these towers here to take out any more of my boys. I'd rather be the bullet sponge. Grab some of these guys. They're coming in from beyond, it seems. It seems like they're coming from back here. Cheaters. Why do they get to hang out back there? Take them out, boys. All right. Outpost cleared. I can take this for myself now. Excellent. Mission complete. Let's grab our flag and head home, everybody. Everyone did such a good job. So I'm going to just... I want to make sure I don't fight anybody along the way. One of the better ways to do that is if I, if I stop moving for a second change this to one tile so they're just like standing on top of me pretty much or right behind me in this instance and i just set my guy to run back i know i'm not going to run through an area but if you if i have this zone too big it might catch something there's not not anything left over here so there's nothing too much to worry about though but all right that opened up a lot for us here which is beautiful that's exactly what we wanted to see we've got a bunch more constructions available i've got let's see We've got the vehicle assemblies now, so let's grab like, what? Why not? Why don't we grab a few of these? One, two, I said two, two, three, four of those. Why not? And now we've got rotary kerns. What do these need? Perfect, we can make those. 
Grab one here, put one here. Two's probably good enough. But we'll grab four. I think that's all in the radius here. Kitchen tables, let's grab two of these because cooking's not that beneficial, obviously, like compared to before. Obviously we need money, but it's not like we're trying to feed auto or feed the babies so much anymore. All right, that's good. All right, now we've got a lot of good stuff here. Where am I? I'm over here so we can turn these guys off. Put my flag in my pocket so I don't lose it. And now let's go see what else we can make before we get out of here. So at the crude workbench, we can now make a good backpack so I can increase my backpack space. I can also make a skateboard. So we'll take care of that. So that way I can make my speed even faster. I'm pretty sure even the good backpacks, unless they changed it, can go on the bots. I don't know if they kind of fixed that up in this game, at least in the other one where you could have bot upgrades, you could, but in, it doesn't seem like there's really any bot upgrades, right? So we've got that over here, which is nice. I thought I saw something else glow, but I guess not. Not yet, at least. Gold expenditure. Great. So over here, if we go to the research, I've got 8K. So I can get the, I can't do the bot database upgrade yet, but I could do this, but it says I'm missing some ingredients. So we could go with the Palisade. So why don't we do that? And we could work on uh, in the next episode, maybe getting some of those built and talking about that. That'll also check how our tree farm is doing in a long run. And then we can upgrade our defenses to the new Palisades as well. So, all right, brothers and sisters, I hope you found this fun, exciting and or helpful as usual. Like I say, make sure you hit that like button down below. Subscribe so you do get back here for that sweet, shabby content. And I hope to see you all next time. As usual, I hope the rest of your day is not too shabby.